Hello, and welcome to our 2020 Pioneer Virtual Plot Experience. I'm John Shanehalls, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northern Ohio. With me today is Jeff Taylor, our Product Agronomist in Northern Ohio. We want to take a chance today for a couple minutes to demonstrate two plots in Northern Ohio that show the Pioneer lineup from 100 days all the way to a 113 day corn hybrid. We're going to show a broad overview of the plot, talk a little bit about some detail of the products in the plot. Jeff's going to offer a little bit of insight of what he's seeing across the state this year. John, this year has been marked by extremes. We started the year off really strong in northern Ohio, and then we turned off dry. Um, what I've observed this year covering the state and my travels is the tremendous performance our lineup has hung in there and dealt with the adversity we've seen. Corn revolution has really come into light, and the pioneer germplasm, I think, is expanding, so we're seeing the full depth of what we can accomplish with some of the new predictive tools and the analytics that we have from modeling and the new research we're doing across some of our, our Eastern Corn Belt testing. Come join us out in the field as we take a look at what we're seeing in these plots. We'll get started talking about some of the earlier corn products. 0075 AM was a new product last year in the 100 day maturity lineup. It offers a little bit more ear flex, nice emergence, and nice foliar health for a 100 day product for a grower that wants to get started with something just a little bit on the early side. Moving up to 306, that's been in the lineup for several years, a nice versatile fit for Northern Ohio. We have a new product coming in, 434, that's fit very similarly. Yeah, I'm excited about 434. It's a really Eastern pedigree product that has a lot of, you know, Great late season plant health for a 104 day product, outstanding early season vigor, and really brings in a nice dry down advantage. It's an early flower 97 day silk that's done really well under drought tolerance and gives us a little bit of ear flex when we look at that 104 day class of products too. So it's gonna be a nice addition to complement 306. If we go a little bit later in that lineup, 506 remains a big key player for Pioneer. 506 is a nice flex ear at lower populations, an Aquamax hybrid that works well in some of our sandier soils, a nice plant size as well if a grower is looking for silage um, and in more early maturity we've had very nice success with that. And John, I think 688 is a nice, uh, a new version of 506 if you will. It, it really brings in some of the same key attributes you mentioned with more consistent stand establishment, nice early vigor, and it gives you a really fast dry down for 106 because of its early 103 day silk. I think you can take advantage of that and make it a nice complement to 506. 720 AM was a new product last year that did extremely well in plots across Northern Ohio and looks really nice again this year as a leader product. 720 has very nice drought tolerance and offers good test weight and kernel depth, which makes a top yielding product with versatility to go across a number of acres. Brand new this year is P0806 AM. That's gonna complement 720, I think on the top end side. 806 really brings a new level of top end yield potential in our 108 day class of hybrids. It, it replaces the 825 that we've relied on the last few years to be that offensive horsepower hybrid. But 806 brings in better drought tolerance, the same type of ear flex, but improved grain quality and, and ear retention under some of those really challenging conditions. 806 is gonna be that nice, you know, leader product of the future where we're looking at some of the best yielding, high fertility kind of conditions. There's not a lot I can say about 843 that hasn't already been experienced in Northern Ohio. 843 is a leader product because of its versatility. We like it on the heavy, wet soils. It's done well on some sandy soil environments, offers very nice grain quality and test weight, just an all around solid product with consistency that can be depended on. And, and with that leader status that 843's earned, we really have been scrutinizing bringing in more defensive hybrids to complement that acre. The brand new this year is 935. 935 fits a similar type of positioning. It's your versatile to defensive hybrid, great you know, ear flex, grain quality, late season foliar protection, and, and I think very solid early vigor and, and stand establishment characteristics. The previous year we launched 963 that positions also very similar, that rugged acre, more defensive, late season plant health and stay green, along with nice grain quality. Healthy. Its difference is gonna be more of an ear type like 843 compared to the flex that 935 really brings. 
another product and then 109 day class that does offer a lot of versatility much like 843 is 977 available both as a conventional and an am product 977 is a little more ear flex but still a versatile product that especially in a more challenging environment holds up very nicely 1197 has been a mainstay in the pioneer lineup for many years for good reason it's just hard to beat with yield 1077 came along last year to match or even beat the old 1197 offers. 1077 also offers significantly better test weight and grain quality, improved drought tolerance, and ear consistency in the field. You've really liked the way 1077 looks on the highly productive acres again this year. Well, and be conversed with that. I mean, on the other side of the spectrum, 1181 came into the lineup to really fit that rugged, defensive, more challenging, stressful acre. 1181 also brings in a new level of test weight and grain quality to the lineup, being a food grade hybrid. But it's really claim to fame is going to be its late season plant health, stay green, and foliar disease package. Really holds up under some of those stressful, challenging conditions. And really, it's going to be the future kind of replacement for 1283 as it starts to decline and be phased out of the lineup. At the 113 end of the lineup, 1380 is an offensive racehorse type hybrid for top end yield. It's a big plant with a big flex ear, a white cob, very nice kernel depth and girth. It offers for the highly managed acre, unsurpassed yield potential. And new this year, 1359 AM, comes into the lineup to be a complement and fit the more versatile positioning where we will look for a more broadly adapted, wide area footprint product that fits across uh, really all of the Corn Belt. You know, we're selling this product, you know, from the East Coast almost clear to the West Coast. It's It's got a nice, complete package, whether it's early season agronomics and emergence stand establishment to late season foliar um, health with stay green and disease tolerance to northern corn leaf blight. So with wrapping up for the corn lineup, we've got quite a few new products coming into the lineup to really support and strengthen the overall performance the Pioneer lineup has shown the last couple years. I'm excited about what 2021 looks like, and I think the new products are going to be big players as we move into the, the coming years. Thank you for joining us on this Pioneer Plot Experience. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a visit through the field with us today. Many Pioneer reps and growers spend countless hours planting, maintaining, evaluating, and harvesting plots across northern Ohio. Thank you for these efforts as it helps bring the Pioneer corn revolution and product lineup to life. Contact your Pioneer sales rep if you'd like to visit a plot for yourself or learn more details about these products in the field. Thanks for watching. Stay safe this fall. We look forward to talking with you soon. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.